Hello everyone, my name is Blue Rain. As you all know, I have a CD collection, I talk about it all the time, and it seems like it's constantly being added on to. And every single time I got a few CDs, I would do a whole one hour live stream going through the entire collection. And that must have gotten really annoying, did it? So what I've decided to do is I'm gonna make a centerpiece, and the centerpiece is going to be my entire collection as of August 15th, and for subsequent CD updates, I'm only going to show the new ones. Alright, no more stalling, let's get into it. From the mainly post hardcore band AFI, I have two records. I have Sing the Sorrow and December Underground. Here's the debut self-titled album by Andrew McMahon in the Wilderness. I was introduced to this guy with this amazing animation by the legendary Ava G. I highly recommend this album and I highly recommend the animation. As you know, I've talked about Ava G plenty of times on my channel, but it, you know, it's, 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 it's justified, okay? I have three records from the space rock group Angels and Airwaves. I feel like they're massively underrated just because people were mad that they left Blink-182. But I have We Don't Need to Whisper, my personal favorite. I also have I Empire, the fantastic follow-up. And the double album, Love Parts 1 and 2. From British group Arctic Monkeys, I have their debut Whatever People Say I Am, That's What I'm Not. And I also have my personal favorite, Favorite Worst Nightmare. And speaking of Blink-182, I have, it looks like, five records from them. I have Enema of the State. I have Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, I have the Untitled Record, which is my personal favorite, it actually dethroned Neighborhoods as my favorite, it's my second favorite now. Then I have a signed copy of California. I actually didn't go to a Blink concert or anything, I got this on Christmas, some person got it off eBay. Uh, well, person, some uh, family friend got it on eBay and they gave it to me, so this is definitely one of my prized possessions. Emo band Brand New are up next, and I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding them, but the music is just too damn good. I have their debut, Your Favorite Weapon from 2001. This is actually the deluxe edition because I like this album cover. Got Deja and Tendu, definitely one of my favorites, but my personal favorite is definitely The Devil and God Are Raging Inside Me. Sometimes I can't believe that I can say this, but I have every single studio album by Bring Me the Horizon, plus a few extras here and there. Let's start off with their true, true debut, their debut EP, This Is What the Edge of Your Seat Was Made For. Deathcore stuff, you know, a lot of people don't like it, but a lot of, some people do. And speaking of deathcore, I have their debut album, Count Your Blessings. Then after that we have Suicide Season. I also have uh, my second favorite, um, what is this called again? <laughs> there is a hell, believe me I've seen it, there is a heaven, let's keep it a secret. Right after that I also have my personal favorite from them, this is Semp Eternal, definitely my favorite metalcore album ever. Right after that we have the pretty controversial That's the Spirit, which I feel like they should have gotten with this inner kind of design for the cover, wouldn't you agree? Right after that we have the even more controversial Amo, which definitely grew on me. And right after that, we have the thing that uh, they the thing that they put out most recently, post-human survival horror. I'm still waiting for the for the next part. By the way, bring me the horizon. You know, die for you. I didn't like die for you very much, but strangers was really good. Another British group are up next. One of my favorite bands. This is my Coldplay area in my collection. I have Parachutes, their debut fantastic record. I have A Rush of Blood to the Head, another fantastic record. My personal favorite from them, X and Y, grew on me. Definitely, I didn't like it at first. Uh, then we have Viva La Vida or Death and All His Friends, another one that grew on me. Milo Zyloto, the first Coldplay album I ever fell in love with. Then finally, another record that grew on me, Ghost Stories, which I believe is definitely underrated. A day to remember what separates me from you. All of you have seen this probably many times on my channel, but it's my Fall Out Boy collection. I have my personal favorite, Take This to Your Grave, favorite album of all time, all that. This is the first CD I ever purchased. I also have a copy of From Under the Cork Tree. I also have Infinity on High. I also have Foley Ado. Finally, Save Rock and Roll. Fiona Apple, Win the Pawn, not saying the entire title. From the rock group Foo Fighters, I have the color and the shape, and I also have Wasting Light. I actually asked um, to buy this um, after I heard that uh, Taylor Hawkins passed away as a way to honor him. So yeah, rest in peace, Taylor Hawkins. You were a fantastic drummer, you were a legend, and I hope heaven is suited for you. The Fray, How to Save a Life. Surprisingly enough, I only have three Green Day CDs, and only two of them are actual albums. So here I have Dookie, I also have International Super Hits, and of course, American Idiot. From Lincoln Park, I have their debut Hybrid Theory, and also their follow-up Meteora. This is the Digipack version, which I think is, you know, pretty cool. Modern Baseball, you're gonna miss it all. I have six records from Muse, I have my personal favorite. 
Here is Origin of Symmetry. Then I have Absolution. Then the first one I ever listened to, Black Holes and Revelations. Then one that really grew on me, The Resistance. Fantastic record. And then two underrated albums right here, The Second Law and Drones. I don't know why that was backwards. But yeah, I personally feel that these two are definitely underrated, especially Drones. There's a lot of hate on that one. And I understand the hate, but I just can't get over those awesome riffs. There's a live album that I never listened to. I have SNM2 by Metallica. Two records from My Chemical Romance. I have Three Tears to Sweet Revenge and, of course, The Black Parade. Neck Deep, Life's Not Out to Get You. I was recommended this by a friend a while ago, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Nirvana, never mind. From the band that opened my eyes to this new genre music, Panic at the Disco, I have the first three records. I have a fever you can't sweat out. Pretty odd, underrated, definitely. And then Vices and Virtues, the standard edition that I think is even more underrated than Pretty Odd. I have two Paramore records. I plan to get more, but I have their debut, All We Know Is Falling, which I think is underrated. And here's Riot, my personal favorite. Pearl Jam, 10. Now here's a record that basically nobody has. This is the debut record by, uh, by the... Um, folk singer-songwriter, I'd say, Philip Phillips, The World from the Side of the Moon. I was introduced to this guy by, again, the legendary Ava G with her animation of Gone Gone Gone. Go check it out. Definitely a classic right there in the old era of Ava G. But yeah, I feel like this is definitely an underrated record. He won, I believe, season 11 of American Idol, and I really do like his debut album. I think it's really good. From one of my current musical obsessions, I am just salivating over these. This is my pink Floyd collection right now. I still need to get animals, but I have metal. I just got this yesterday as a belated uh, birthday gift. I, of course, have Dark Side of the Moon, the first Pink Floyd record I've ever listened to. I have Wish You Were Here, which was which was also gotten yesterday. I got these in the same package, you know, belated gift and all. And finally, we have my personal favorite, The Wall. Here's the 1992 Greatest Hits compilation by Queen. Queens of the Stone Age, rated R. I have the, what I would call, Big Three from Radiohead. I have my personal favorite, OK Computer. Then I have Kid A. And finally, In Rainbows. I do plan to get more and listen to more, in fact, as Radiohead continuously grows on me. Here's the greatest hits by the Ramones, Hey Ho, Let's Go. I have two records from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. One of them I have listened to, one of them I have not yet. I have Blood Sugar Sex Magic from 1991, and I have Stadium Arcadium from 2006. I still need to listen to this, but the double album and the two hours, it kind of just, it kind of scares me. You guys ready for another underrated album? Because this band is only really known for their big hit, but I have Don't You Fake It by the Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, an album which I definitely think is underrated. You know, everyone knows this band for Face Down, but there are some other fantastic songs on this record, like In Fate's Hands, Waiting, False Pretense is a banger. I even like Seventeen Ain't So Sweet. Here's the debut EP by uh, one of Andrew McMahon's old bands. This is Audio Boxer by Something Corporate. So stoked that I have this. This is Eternal Blue by Spirit Box. Definitely one of my favorite metalcore albums ever made. I was addicted to this album for so long. And you know what? I think I still am. This is Turnstile with Glow On. Fantastic record. I have the special edition of Under Oath's They're Only Chasing Safety. This is a Fan-fucking-tastic record. Highly recommended. Vampire Weekend, Modern Vampires of the City. I listened to this, and I definitely think I need more time with this record, but it will happen. I do think this is a good record. I just need a bit more time with it, you know? The Blue Album by Weezer. We the Kings, self-titled album. And finally, finally, I have The Greatest Hits by The White Stripes. Alright, that was my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed, and from now on, I will not be doing CD streams. I will be doing CD update videos, only showing the new stuff. But again, that'll have to wait until I get quite a few CDs. Anyway, my name is Blue Rain. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next uh, video. Oh, by the way, I'm going to put out a channel update soon. So um, be on the lookout for that.